Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia! Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flocky shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Mirabah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Loving Shepherd of thy sheep, keep thy lamb in safety keep. Nothing can thy power withstand, none can pluck me from thy hand. I would bless thee every day, gladly all thy will obey. Like the blessed ones above, happy in thy precious love. Loving shepherd ever near, teach thy lamb thy voice to hear. Suffer not my steps to stray from the straight and narrow way. Where thou leadest I will go, walking in thy steps below. Till before my father's throne, I shall know as I am known. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars. Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, for every singing your praise. They are happy, whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. The Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bless your people, Lord. You have given us the law that we may walk from strength to strength and raise our minds to you from this valley of tears. May we receive the gifts you have gained for us. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, 
that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many peoples. He shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against the other, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. Sing to the Lord, and bless his name. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are naught. It was the Lord who made the heavens. His are majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have renewed the face of the earth. Your church throughout the world sings you a new song, announcing your wonders to all. Through a virgin, you have brought forth a new birth in our world. Through your miracles, a new power. Through your suffering, a new patience. In your resurrection, a new hope. And in your ascension, new majesty. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. A reading from Hebrews chapter 13. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Day and night they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. I have set my watchmen to guard you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray, Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of shepherd of souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, you served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, let the holiness and teaching of St. Dominic come to the aid of your church. May he help us now with his prayers as he once inspired people by his preaching. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.